Updates from the stock market reveal that the Nigerian equities market on Thursday recorded its first decline this week by 0.9%. The Osher index traded close at 52,109.43 index points as against 52,580.86 index points recorded in the previous day's trading session. The market's capitalization of equities depreciated by 256 billion naira to close at 28.3 trillion naira, a 0.9% loss compared to the 28.6 trillion naira recorded in yesterday's trading session. Market's worth close to negative as Academy recorded 10% to lead the losers. ABC Transport led the gainers, while Access Holdings PLC was the most traded equity at the end of the day's session. Time to digest this and understand what happened in the market yesterday. And doing that with me is Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consultant Limited. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. That's for having me. A 0 0.9 decline, the first in this week. Did you see that coming? Actually, I expected it to happen. One is because markets have rallied for straight for this. And also, MPC is around the corner. Investors mm. or traders will know that, yes, as we are approaching closer, if I made profit for straight for this, we expected to not take your profit and, and trade with caution. Not that you took profit and watch to see the outcome. Because when inflation came on Monday, because it had been factored in into the decision, it didn't affect the market. The market was gaining until Thursday. But one thing again is that all the market has gone from Monday to Friday to you know on, on Wednesday on, on, on Thursday pulling back of at you know lost almost a uh, five point four percent for Thursday and also profit taking in some stores that have rallied after the markdown. This also pulled the market back. But I would say that market has not broken down the strong support level of uh, fifty two thousand you know mark. Why is that? You know, market is still on a conservation mode. That's why, you know, I tried, li I like using my tech analysis to let you know, even at the chart, I would show you. Okay. Market is in a, you know, a conservation stage. Either at this point, the market is either to, you know, to reverse up or break down. And when it breaks down, we're not be seeing that market to hit around the 51 or 50 before bouncing back heavily. But I believe that because of the confidence that incoming government is kind of, uh, you know, giving an insight to investors, we can see People are still buying in some stock. We are seeing volume. Some of the other that people have been that oh, incoming government because they are pro market and also economy is going to come with good policy that will drive progress in the economy. On that, people already taken advantage of the low prices we have seen because of the markdown to position and they are in the, some good stuff. For me, the market is still very very strong until today. If market will do what they want, but being Friday ahead of NPC, I expect the same trend that we saw yesterday to repeat itself. Or let's also on all those uh, blue chips. So it's going to be a decline today. Yeah, you know, the flag might not be as high as uh, 0.9 that mm -hmm. you mentioned earlier. But I believe that people will still take profit to see what the two days meeting that will come Monday and Tuesday will look like. But I personally, I believe that because you know in global sense, I've seen the trend of rate hike, and also the inflation that came on Monday also you know, indicated that we have about uh, you no know, price are still you know, on the rise because we move from uh, 22.04 to 22.22. That's that. Now for me. CBN and his team will not just so because you know it's the last uh, you know MPC meeting for the for the for this uh, administration. Let's just leave it on flat. But I did that should be. But I believe that they want to hike rate again. Is mm. that they follow the rate of uh, 25 basic points or you know, 50? Why I say so is that the the CBN governor we have seen this recent year from uh, May 2022 20, to date is you know, different one from the one we've seen before that was like was this is a governor that left interest rate for eleven point five for almost straight two years. But since it started like in um, in May, um, because he want to check inflation, that continue to increase and that has no either result expected. Mm -hmm. Which uh, but for me, they too they are part of what have caused inflation. Because when we are printing money, also we are giving money as a an intervention, mm -hmm. you know that funds will be in the system. Of course. And because we are not producing but by the way that the major thing we have in Nigeria actually is not only that uh, printing of money, because the supply side is also not Low. working. Hmm. Because that if for a mature economy it's clear for us that because they intervene during to COVID nineteen, they intervene in different form and that they are fighting inflation. Yeah, also if you look at also the interest rate compared to what we have today, it's not the same thing. Because even as we speak most of them are still making money in that market. Mm. You and and they still have single figure inflation. God bless rate. you. But I believe that uh, for me, if I will be the team of the MPC, we will not hike rate uh, to allow the incoming government to settle down. Then uh, from July, we can start hiking rate if we want to. Because I believe that between now and July, we would have seen the clear direction where if the Fed, because Fed like uh, 
a, a standard that, that all mm. the other central bank will follow. If said Fed starts adjusting or leave it you know, unchanged in their next meeting in, in July or June, that you also the bandwagon. <laughs> <is different. laughs> also, the World Bank has also emphasized that if you really don't want the world economy to go into a recession, you need to start to reducing your you know, rate hike or even normalize attack cotton. Because even as we speak, the US is already in a in a in a, in a recession, whether they call it a you no know, minor or mm. major or full blow, they know they're in a recession. If that trend continues, even China that is recovering, the recovery is not strong. Mm. That means global economy they are just mm. coming out of the COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. No, it's not strong. And these are the two major economies of the world. Mm. If the two men are not strong, what of the other one was I believe that because you no, know, the, the global economy like, is going away from globalization. We are seeing that some countries are looking. If you look at what is happening in Japan today, Japan have shown that yes, they still have negative interest. But Japan economy has remained stable. Mm. As we speak now, Japan stock market is you know almost this is the highest since uh, 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 1999. Mm. 1990, me. You know, this year they hit almost the highest. Uh, you know, like they have to the highest they hit in 1999. That is that the market are stable because economy is stable. You can't separate the economy from the market. From the market. If uh, Japan market is really good, so the economy is stable. It is there anybody that if the economy is doing well, your market will also be supported. But isn't it usually said that if you keep doing the same thing the same way and expect a different result, then <laughs> something is wrong with yeah, you? But for me, I believe that uh, they should learn from it that uh, this time, that's why I said, let them allow. You think they would learn? Let, let them allow the incoming government to, to come out because I believe that, yes, they will last an NPC for this regime. And uh, you know, coming in, you should have also have your team. Mm. Yes, even though they want to do the gig and all the stuff, it might not be immediately. I like them to settle before June, uh, June uh, NPC meeting, would have started seeing changes. And if they want to see that, oh, okay, do they want to make it? I expect that they will come, there will be additional mm. supplementary budget. All right, let's wrap up by looking at the gainers and losers. ABC Transport led the gainers with a 10% increase to close at 44 Kovo. And then uh, the Losers Table Academy led the losers with a 10% loss to close at 1 Naira 53 Kovo. For me, ABC result is not too attractive, but it's good that uh, they're able to pay one Kobo dividend as they announced, which is good. But in this part of the world that we have not given attention to transport system, all over the world, the engine of the economy is transportation. Mm. And most of these transportation are not listed on the exchange. It's only BC and also those that are into, let's say, the airlines. The airlines, the airlines yes. But the major you know, transport that Local those transport. Ones are not listed. Mm. But ABC being there, and able to pay one Kubo fine, it's an encouragement, but I believe that they should do more so that the price, because they are making more. But also, the environment is not conducive for them. Mm -hmm. Because of what? Insecurity. Fuel and also insecure fuel. cost of, uh, no, exactly. But yeah, I believe yes. that for them to be able to pay one Kubo, but they need to do more. But for me, this is just market, uh, you know, forces. It won't last. Then if you, are, if you are enter at 30 Kubo, I think at this 40 Kubo, you take your profit, unless mm -hmm. you're interested in one Kubo, you know, okay. there. But what about the loss of academy? Academy is purely profit taking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you already said that markets will close on the decline today. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we will keep our fingers crossed to see how that pans out. Yeah, let's Thank you go. so much for your in depth analysis, as always. That's why we uh, Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer, Investigator Consultant Limited. Well, after the break, we will be looking at uh, some other issues, especially as they affect the economy. Stay with us. We will be right back. Thank you, Mr. Ambrose.